Is it too soon to start asking questions about the conversations the SEC has started to have with some of these banks? No, not at all, Taylor. It's a absolutely the right time. We know that the SEC has been in talks with the banks for more than a week on this issue or about a week on this issue. Think about it this way. Our most recent news is that Wells Fargo has unwound its exposure and no longer has any exposure to the situation. And you see the shares rise, right? You're seeing the bank stocks react directly to this issue. You are seeing some of the biggest international banks exposed to hundreds of millions, if not billions of dollars worth of losses. You see major concerns raised by investors about risk management, primarily at Credit Suisse and then also then again at Nomura. So again, how can a single client cause so much strain on so many banks, right? We thought that so much of the leverage has pushed out of the banking system into the hedge fund community, but clearly it still has an impact on the banks itself. And there should be and will be questions on how they were, uh, how Archegos was able to amass such leverage without disclosure that was more rigorous at the very least. Are there any other regulators beyond just the SEC that should be looking at this? Yeah, listen, Kevin, on one hand, you have the CFTC as well, as well as the SEC. It's both of their jobs to really watch the swaps market. But then on top of that, this is not the first time in 18 months we've seen issues regarding a leverage in the hedge fund system. I could see this becoming an issue where you see FSOC and Janet Yellen also taking a look at hedge funds more broadly and family offices and how much leverage they're amassing more generally.